Great question from J. Rody, YYC35. How did you start marketing and branding? Running a small custom homes design company, and I'm so lost. It's a skill I was never taught. Marketing and branding is a great question. I didn't know the first thing about it. I have a business degree. I took one or two marketing courses. You really just have to do it to get in it. And what do you do? Anything and everything. That's really how you market and brand yourself. Be on, on the branding side of things, be authentic, be yourself, be, let your passion shine through. Me, I'm a bit of a maniac when it comes to people. I get really excited when I meet new people. I get excited to hear their story. So when it comes to like customers and connecting with other people, it all comes, it all comes from a really genuine place and I get really excited to talk to them. And I allow that to kind of push through and show in the brand a little bit. When it comes to the marketing, when I first started, I did anything and everything. First off, we had no money. We still don't really have a, a lot of money, but I'm always in the mindset is do what's ever free and as easy as possible. So I posted on Reddit, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever, and I would start to slowly find out where that community, where my customers were. At the time, the e-commerce, it was in, in Instagram, right? So post anywhere and everywhere and just create content and do stuff like this. Be yourself, be authentic. Talk about what makes you passionate about the custom homes business, right? And then go out there and get all your customers, meet them one-on-one, find out where, where they are, meet previous customers, get some testimonial, talk about what they like, what they didn't like. How we used to do it is we used to do all these collaborations. We would get together a photographer, a blogger, a coffee company, other small businesses, a lifestyle blogger, an athlete, get them all together and we create content together and we would share each other's story out. So I'd put them, you know, an athlete in a local laundry sweater. They would have a Calgary Heritage Rose Co. cup of coffee and we'd get the photographer to shoot, take pictures of them, create content. And then we'd share that out and we'd be sharing the story of every single one of those people out, right? The, the vlogger, the athlete, the coffee company, the other small business, the photographer. And we started just to get our name out that way. You really just have to be relentless about it. But all those things, they didn't really cost us anything except for the cost of a sweater. I still, to this day, refuse to pay for digital ads. We have tried so many time, times to pay for digital ads. Agencies spent tens of thousands of dollars. And for us, for whatever reason, it just doesn't work. But what works is real human connection. So if you can create marketing with real human connections, and sometimes, the cheapest way of marketing is just picking up the phone and calling people and talking to people, right? That might sound a little bit like sales, but that's really all marketing is, is connecting with people, telling a story. So tell your story, tell it authentically and genuinely, and just throw spaghetti to the wall. See what sticks. Try one thing. Did it work? Great. Keep doing it. No? Try something else. And over time, you just keep at it, you'll see what works and what doesn't work. And then if you feel confident and you have a little bit of money to throw at what's working, that's when you can throw it in and that's when you can amplify it. So that to start branding and marketing, it's the same thing of how you just start your business. You just start, you figure it out. Maybe you mess up, but that's okay. Figure it out, just get out there. But I think it really comes down to creating genuine and authentic connections with other people. So Happy to help. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. All right. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now.